making some dishes from my childhood with a little spin on it tonight because the quick curry packet is going to expire soon which is why I'm making it right now and fancy chaojidan which is tomato and egg stir fried I'm using just egg instead so again it's not really accurate but it's close enough and to my Asian relatives please do not panic I am microwaving this quick rice but it tastes fine and it's really convenient so that's what I'm doing right now I bought myself a fountain pen and I've been using it for all my notes for weeks now. It comes with the one use ink pod upon purchasing. So I was just finishing that up, but I wanted to buy custom ink. Let's try it, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, what if I drop this? It's full of the ink and I think it's gonna take a little bit to flush out the blue ink and then it's gonna look pink. Okay, never mind. It's not as instant as I thought. I think it's gonna take a little bit for the blue to actually completely run out. I've been wanting to treat myself and thought that I should get a purse because when Gucci came out with the Jackie purse, that was like the new version of their vintage silhouette but came in all of these bright colors. I also realized maybe I don't really want a very nice purse right now because my lifestyle, I oftentimes set my purse on the ground. If I'm filming, my camera in the purse is gonna stretch it out. So what would I use more? I could not decide because they're just so different. This is the first pair I saw. It's McQueen's and I love platforms. In the moment I saw pink shoes, I was kind of already, I already knew like, hmm, I see it. I want it. I got it. I know what Ariana's singing about now. I had a seven rings moment. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. This was a big, big step for me mentally. And I think like financially as a woman. Listen, Bambi, I don't need no man to get me some purse or my shoes when I am going to get it myself. That's right. That's right. You pass it on. Go pass it on. Yes. Went to my neighbor's apartment to pick up a free table. Now I have two tables leaning on this that I have not assembled. I just don't know when I'll actually get a studio space. No one's replying to my emails, but it was still a really good coincidence. Today I'm gonna go out and run errands and I feel like wearing my little bucket hat. It fell though, I, have, I need to reorganize everything. Yeah, I'm sorry, I think my hat fell and I, you're probably on it, aren't you? I'm sorry. <sighs> so I got this in Soho at a sample sale. So this is like a hand sewn decorated bucket hat that I thought was really goofy. And my sister was like, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. It's like this ombre. <laughs> Changing my mind, I'm not gonna wear the hat. It just won't go with the sunglasses. I mean, okay, that is just a lot. After the post office, I'm heading to Columbus Circle. I've only walked through here once. I know there's a museum I'd like to see one day and inside this mall, there's just very typical chain stores, but I'm stopping inside this home and cookware store to get some descaler solution. That's to clean this resting machine. And that's just because I really like the tactile experience of in-store shopping, online shopping. I hate the weight and I'm not, I'm not patient, so. I got a snack, enjoy the views. I've been eating more like dairy and occasionally fish nowadays just to have like an intuitive diet. Now I'm finally getting some pain and I'm ready to decorate the apartment. I took the day off yesterday because I wasn't feeling well. I, I think I just got sick from fatigue and I got my period today, so that's probably what explained it. I just mainly had a headache that stopped me from doing anything. Like I could barely get out, go to the bathroom without my head being too dizzy and painful. Let me turn this AC off. So I just watched the Queen's Gambit yesterday. This is what the wall looks like. A bunch of swatches at different areas to test how it looks in the lighting. And I'm just really stuck between the three colors. We got a dusty rose, a pastel, and like a very proper pink. And the final verdict is that I'm gonna mix 
all three of them together. I'm gonna use this takeout container as my mixing bowl and I guess get a custom color. After mixing it up real good, I'm gonna take a swatch first because it always dries a little bit darker. And once that's good to go, I'm gonna paint the entire wall. <laughs> ready to paint let's take the lid off open the windows for uh not for validation for ventilation quick dinner tonight because I want to get back to painting. This is where I spontaneously decided to make a squiggly border. It's very playful and I repurposed the box of a cracker to make a stencil. So the technique is the exact same of how I did it on the office wall. So you can look at that video to see how I traced it and filled it in. I should show you in better lighting, but here's what the walls look like. Quite excited about that. Meanwhile, I'm running a bath because I thought I should chillax a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to screw up my nose contour if I can help it. But I'm almost there. I'm a few blocks away and I'm the first one to get there. I made reservations for this rooftop bar in advance. A friend recommended this place to me saying it was very pink up there and heavily decorated, which is speaking to my Libra. Through October, the theme is rooftop, rose garden, something like that. So they have a lot of fresh flowers up there. We couldn't see any of the sky views because of the heavy rain. They covered up a large portion of the balcony area, but it was still really pretty inside. And again, as promised, very extra and very pink. Put this song over the last video of your best friend. I spent this morning finishing up my taxes, procrastinated, and we got coffee, came back home. It's noon now, so we're just gonna go out with not really any crazy agenda, just hang out. And I've really been liking t-shirts. I feel like I was just telling Lilith 
that after I watched the Blackpink documentary, I like Lisa's style and I like her t-shirt. Doesn't this tie-dye shirt go so well? Look, it's like an orange and purple tie-dye top that I thrifted in 2019. Look, I found it's perfect pairing. We had a really chill afternoon. We split lunch, got some snacks, and walked around Midtown until we had plans with Lilith's friend. So I got to meet Kenzie and her roommates Claire and Beatrice. It was so nice to chat. We got early dinner, went back to my apartment, and played with the cats. And the evening was just more messing around and chilling. <laughs> was a lot of tidying up. I moved into the art studio, which I'll show you in the future. And most of the week was devoted towards my office transformation. I have a dedicated video for that, so go look at it, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. And I have some friends I'm very excited to meet. to be Bambi. That is a mood. I'm striving to really soak in the moments and what it actually means to enjoy the little things in my life that I have to be so grateful for and to say it and to execute it actually feels very different. So I'm still figuring it out and kind of just experimenting what works for me and what doesn't. And same thing with my art. I'm figuring out what direction I want to go and I didn't have the time or the patience. I would always get so panicked just not knowing, but that's the whole point. I want to kind of embrace the discovery process. I'm very happy to have a studio where I can practice maybe a few times a week in private when I feel like I'm ready to share that would be good, but right now, like, I want the pressure off me, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do now, just slowing down, taking time, and exploring. So I hope that you take care. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I'll see you soon.